Hey everybody. So um, I was in here looking at my uh, Dynamics 365 customer engagement instance inside the admin center to see when my update will be applied. As you can see, I'm still at 8.2 on this instance here. And I've got an update coming here in the next two weeks, I think it is. And past few days, I have been seeing this uh, note up here, try the new admin center. So I have not done this yet. So I thought we would go and try this ourselves. Let's go click on that and see what happens. So the first thing you notice is now we are in the Power Platform Admin Center Preview. So you have a note here, there is that. So here is my instance. Then over here on the left-hand side, we have some analytics, our environments, which are here, there. So a, a data policy, and then the other admin centers that are related to the Power Platform. So if you haven't heard, um, we have, now have a new concept, a new thing called the Power Platform, which includes customer engagement, flow, Power Apps, and Power BI. All of those things make up the Power Platform. So let's just take a drive around here while we'll see what we can see. So if I click on the analytics under Common Data Service for Apps, I can see information about my current environment. So active users, API calls, pass rate, executions. This is probably from some plugins that I have or click dimensions. This is probably what's firing off in there. Yep. Active users. I'm the only one in my system, so therefore that's all we got. Users by security role, by client, by browser, device type, content usage. This is all click dimension stuff. That's cool. System jobs, very good. Plugins, that's all looking good. No failures, that's great. API call statistics, lots of retrieved multiples you can see. Mailbox usage, only have a couple mailboxes. Not a big deal, and finally storage. Something is probably in this little area here. Looks like they still got some buglets in here. I'm in um, I'm in Internet Explorer right now. Uh, this may be a display issue, but something is probably in these little buttons here. So there's that. Data policies. What is in here? Data loss prevention policies. Hmm, I don't know. Let's click a new one. Aha, uh -huh, this will do probably with uh, this. Is, users will be prevented from creating flows and apps combined connectors from business data only and no business data allowed. I bet what this is is to keep users from creating integrations to outside services so that you don't inadvertently send customer data to another platform. I bet that is what that is. So let's go back to the admin center. Oh, and by the way, anytime on any of the admin platforms, if you see this box with an, uh, an arrow pointing to the right, that means it's going to open up a new window or a new tab. So let's go back to our customer engagement center, which is our standard one we used to have. Flow is the flow center. So I'm assuming that Power Apps and Power BI are the same. So those just open up the environments that we've uh, kind of gotten used to by now. So let's go back to our environments here. And here's some interesting thing I clicked on before I started recording. So if I click on that, I can open the environment, which will actually open up uh, CRM, of course, or Dynamics 365 Customer Engagement. But I also have a Settings button here. So let's click on that. So this, if I'm not terribly mistaken, is the shape of things to come. So what do we have in here? Most of the things that we have access to in the Settings area within the Dynamics 365 Customer Engagement uh, as well. So Behavior, Features, Languages, Privacy and Security, Business Stuff, security they call it using user permissions we call it security within the interface there is email configuration uh, services we have custom social engagement connected and then finally data management so if we go over here to 
security roles, what it's going to do is actually open up the settings security security roles page within the customer engagement interface. Now it looks like it doesn't put up the entire interface. This is just the page that this is on. So if I went back to users, I will see the same thing. Yeah, so this is just uh, the ability to modify and add users without the framework of the Dynamics 365 customer engagement platform. So this is kind of along the lines of what things we've seen with, with the other changes to the Power Platform, mainly Power Apps, where you can actually create a model-driven Power Apps and perform most operations within this new uh, layout that uh, does not uh, really require you to open up the, um, the customer engagement center. So anyway, so I just saw this today and thought I would just make a quick video showing you what is uh, available in here. And I'm sure this will be uh, uh, changed and improved as time goes on because again, right now it is a preview. So uh, go out and give it a whirl. Talk to you later.